Good morning. Welcome to Allen's Day. It is uh, end of March and give you our weather report. We had a little bit of snow, but it's going to melt right away. Uh, not too bad for up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We only had to uh, plow the driveway once this winter. Uh, I can handle that. Just got to get started here on my Saturday morning. Got to throw the ponies a uh, little bit of hay. They're screaming for me. I'm a little late getting out here. Uh, let me get these guys fed and uh, we'll go start in on a, on a garage project here. We'll get some uh, lights turned on in the garage here and I'll uh, show you what kind of projects we got going on here. Uh, before we do that, get started on the projects. Got to get uh, get the fire stoked a little bit. Oh, we got a few coals in there. There we go. Fire has been stoked. Now I got one more batch of horses to feed and then we can get started here. And I've got uh, Lux's food. Lux is my uh, big uh, big buckskin gelding. He needs a few extra groceries because he's a big horse. So he gets special treatment. Come on, Lux. Make him stand there and wait for me. Yeah. Okay. Now you can go. And throw these guys some hay. And Buckshot gets some hay. That's the uh, morning feed routine every day. Uh, get that done before I go to work and then I can start my day let's get you back into the garage and I'll show you what we got going on well today's project is that oh we'll turn a little heat on we've got what uh, we've named Krusty the Jeep uh, it's a Jeep that uh, started working on uh, last summer. Uh, this is the uh, grocery getter that we uh, use down in uh, Tennessee at our holiday home when we go down there. But the last time I was down there, uh, we had some problems with it. And you saw that uh, previous video, I changed out the uh, throttle position sensor that was bad. Uh, I got that changed out and uh, what else did I change out in there? Let me uh, pop the hood on here. Well, here's what I, uh, what I changed out on here uh, the other day. This uh, throttle position sensor right down in here gave me problems and since this thing had a few miles on it, I went through and I changed all the injectors out. 
and I put a new uh, fuel rail on there. Real fancy, uh, a pretty one here. Maybe it'll run better with being pretty. Uh, other things I did is I changed out the clutch, uh, the fan clutch. Uh, it was just a little sloppy. These things are notorious for uh, producing a lot of heat under the hood. I want to get the heat out of there. And I went through and I changed the, uh, the valve cover gasket. I should be done under the hood for a while. Now the next mission is exhaust. Uh, I went through, put a new exhaust on there uh, last summer, but what I did is it, it was one of those uh, performance mufflers. Well, performance muffler means loud. And uh, I don't need loud anymore. I need quiet. So, got back on Amazon and got me a quiet flow muffler. Uh, we'll see what this does for us. You just got to get it fit up underneath there. It's a little bigger muffler. So, best way to handle that is get the Jeep on the lift. Uh, let me make that happen and we'll uh, see what we can do about tearing into that muffler on there. Well, let me get you under here and show you what we got. This is that uh, uh, performance muffler. That's that uh, flow master. Too damn loud. And then to quiet that down, I put this little stainless steel resonator right here uh, behind it and it just does a little bit of squealing and whining uh, don't know if I like that either so anyways this big beast here has to replace all of that so it looks like I get a little bit of cutting and moving and I still got my O2 sensor that I gotta find a home for yet and see if I can stretch that wire out enough so let me get underneath here and uh, get the saws all out and just cut everything out and uh, start from scratch under here. Well, let's get this thing cut out of here. easy enough getting it out now I gotta put it all back together and get it fit up in there here's what I use anytime I got any uh, grinding to do or I try to use it as much as possible it's a downdraft table uh, so when you grind all the grinding dust goes down and out the end there and there's a filter in there that keeps the uh, all the dust out of your lungs and uh, also out of the shop here too so uh, let me just start cutting this out you can see I'm I thought I had and I probably have one around the uh, O2 sensor bung uh, I thought I had an extra one but I got to cut this one out and uh, finish chopping this thing up here One bung out. I gotta clean that up a little bit, but it'll work for what we're doing here. Let me get the rest of this uh, chopped up. Gonna be saving this uh, resonator on here. Not sure why, but uh, I don't wanna throw it out. So it's going back on. <laughs> get this mess cleaned up and uh, start tacking her back together. Let me
me get you underneath here and uh, show you what we got going on. Uh, got it all put in place. Just getting it all tacked into place. We got our uh, resonator. We got our O2 sensor. We got our muffler squeezed in there. Now I got to weld it up. Uh, I got the old reliable uh, Miller here with uh, O23 wire in there. And let you guys just watch your eyes. I've got to uh, got to weld this up right here. Well, I better get the camera out of there before I smoke the camera. Hopefully I don't get any spatter on the lens, so. Let me get her welded up and uh, we'll fire this beast up and see what it sounds like. One last thing to do to check before you say you're done with the welding on there is get yourself a mirror and you can see in the mirror, or maybe you can't see in the mirror, that there's a, I missed a spot up there. From the bottom, everything looks good. You can see the spot that I missed up in there. And the only way to see that is get yourself a mirror. Muffler's in. Uh, last piece of the puzzle. O2 sensor. It's got to go back in. Problem is, I got a longer muffler and it's too short. So I have to weld, or not weld, uh, solder in some extensions on here. So what I use is, and I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. I don't know if it's going to mess with the resistance in the wire, but it's going to work. Uh, these uh, solder connections. I try to use those wherever I can because, let me show you what we got here. Put a little heat to her and it uh, melts that little piece of solder that's on the very inside there and uh, seals it together. A little bit better than the butt connectors. Uh, we'll get this thing done and we'll get her in there. I like it, it's quieter already. Next mission, got the exhaust done. We've got a front bumper, winch bumper to put on uh, Krusty there. Uh, we'll do an unboxing. I think that's a YouTube thing. Let me get this Jeep turned around so that the bumper's on this end and uh, we'll get started on that bumper. Well, let's start doing our unboxing on our uh, on our bumper. It's a uh, EAG, I think is the brand. I got it off of uh, Amazon. There's just a bunch of them on there. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, UPS guy was uh, struggling a little bit getting it out of the truck there. Oh, here we go. That's what we got, there's our bumper. Let me get this thing uh, cut out of here. Figure out where all the brackets go. Maybe there's some instructions in here. Yeah, probably not. I gotta figure out how to get that, uh, get that bumper off there now. You just start ripping and tearing. I'll bring you back when I got something done. Making progress on the bumper. Uh, tore those uh, plastic covers off the end. Uh, it wasn't very pretty. I just busted them off. They were junk anyways. Now, it looks like there is three bolts 
down on the inside of both sides here. Uh, so let me get the uh, impact in there. Wow, those come off pretty easy. So let me get the uh, let me get the bolts out with the big Milwaukee here, and uh, we'll get that bumper off and uh, start putting the brackets on. Finish uh, unboxing it. Uh, I found the left and right bracket. This looks like the top piece that goes across the top. And then we got the winch bumper. Looks pretty straightforward. Put the bolt on there. Bolts into there. We're going to have a bumper on Krusty. Give it a new look. Got the bumper off. Ready to put the brackets on, but I think we're gonna do some upgrades on here. Right now, the bumper just connects on these three holes right here. And it's rated for a 12,000 pound winch on there off of these three holes. I don't think so. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is put this bracket in here Gonna make an honest attempt to beef this up. So we got these, we got these three holes here. Uh, I've got a piece of uh, strut material here, and we're gonna lay this in alongside the frame here. And there's a hole right here that's doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to get a bolt and a bushing put in that hole. I'm going to bolt this on here. And then we're going to share one of the bolts with this right here. It's going to make me feel better that this whole thing is going to be pulling all the way from a, uh, a foot back compared to that. So let me get, uh, let me get that drilled out, get it bushed, and uh, we'll get that thing in there. Well, let me show you what I uh, came up to reinforce this bumper. So, here's the clip that they have. Here's the extra bracket that I put on here. And that goes all the way, like I showed you, all the way back to there. So, I feel a little bit better that that bumper is getting closer to being able to pull, uh, put a 12,000 pound winch on there. So this is, uh, and anybody that's doing this, there's a, I cut a piece of half inch, schedule 80, two and a quarter inches long. And this uh, frame comes with a hole in here. And then this bushing fits right into this hole. And then you can put a, uh, put a half inch bolt. That's a half by three and a half inch bolt fits into the hole and then I changed the bolts out that they had in here they had some uh, metric that were a lot smaller I put some half by one and a half grade 8 bolts with nylocks so now we know that this bracket is going to stay secure and if anything bends or breaks it's going to be the bumper which is better the bumper getting destroyed than the frame of your truck so don't just assume because uh, you get a package in there and they say, yeah, it'll hold 12,000 pound winch. Uh, think again. Uh, you can do a little bit to upgrade that. So if anybody's looking for this, this is the, I'd say, EAG bumper. And uh, there's the part number. I did find the instructions for it. Uh, pretty good instructions here, so. Let me finish putting this thing together. I found one more brace to put on here. I just couldn't leave it alone. Now on the bottom side of these bumpers, there's, no, there's nothing to provide any uh, lateral if you're pulling sideways or hooking on the eye and pulling sideways. So I put a flat bar right here to an existing hole. And then I drilled a hole in the bumper so now, now I'm satisfied. It's all been upgraded. Almost perfect. It's uh, pretty close. But uh, this video is getting a little long. 
I will uh, connect up with you guys uh, tomorrow, and you're going to see a little bit more on the next uh, next episode of uh, what this Jeep's going to look like when it's finished with the uh, the bumper, the guard, and a few other things on there. So, uh, talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Thank you for watching Alan's Day. Life is about making choices. Some things are already perfect. Some things you may choose to upgrade. This channel will show you both. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.